Yeah, from 9 on, he's in the industrial area. Industrial area. Looks like he's on a pavement. Standby. Hello, people and sheeple. Pinaki News. Just a really quick video this one and all I want to do is direct you to this photography information video which was recently created by the Black Belt Barrister who is a real barrister and a real Black Belt. So although a lot of this information has already been covered on my channel and many other channels for that matter this is the information directly from a barrister who has lots of interesting videos regarding lots of different legal scenarios. So pop over to his channel and enjoy his content. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about photography and taking videos in public. But first of all, if you're new and you're just joining our legal community, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on new videos in case you've got questions of your own you'd like to ask of a practicing barrister. Remember, as always, this video should not be taken as a replacement for formal legal advice. Every situation rests on its own facts. And for this particular video, I'd like to stress that it is not to encourage you to argue with other people, to argue with the police or to resist police inquiries, but it is to outline what your rights are and what the situation is regarding photography and videos in public, because there's a lot of misunderstanding, there's a lot of arguments and disagreements, which hopefully I can clear up today. Right, right, right at the end there. Put that camera down, or we will tase you. 